Hi everyone, it's Megan Fidel from the Wisconsin Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired and I am so excited right now because I am going to show you one of my all-time favorite recipes to teach students how to prepare. If you have attended a short course with me before, you already know. Eggs in a mug. I just picked up my mug. Um, so anyways, I really like this recipe because it's a great way to make, eggs are a great source of protein, first of all, and this is a really fast and simple recipe. You can make your eggs as plain as you want, or you can add in other ingredient, ingredients and make like a little omelet. Totally up to you what you decide to do. Um, sometimes a barrier that I see for students um, before they um, start working with the stove is that um, they're a little nervous about like burning themselves because they just haven't had um, the opportunity to practice on the stove yet. And so the idea of that is a little scary for them, which is completely understandable because until you, you know something, it's just, it can be a little daunting. So eggs in a mug allows you to cook eggs with heat, but it takes away the nervousness of using a stove. It's a really nice stepping point. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. To make this recipe, you'll need the following ingredients and tools. You'll need a mug that is microwave safe, a cookie sheet or a baking pan with edges, this is optional, two forks, a dinner plate, a towel to wipe your hands, a microwave, and a tablespoon to measure. As far as ingredients, you will need eggs, milk, salt and pepper, and then any toppings that you'd like to add to your eggs, such as cheese, ham, pre-cooked bacon, peppers, onions, spinach, tomatoes, or anything that you think sounds good in your eggs. As far as actually making the recipe goes, you crack your eggs into a microwave-safe mug, you pour in one tablespoon of milk, and then beat the, beat the eggs with a fork for 60 seconds. If you only want to have one or only want to have one egg, just use a half a tablespoon of milk. Then you'll heat your mug in the microwave until the eggs are cooked through and fluffy. This should take about 90 seconds. When you take your eggs out, uh, make sure to use a hot pad and poke them with a fork and they should feel firm and springy and that's how you know that they, that's how you will know that they're done. And then you can go ahead and sprinkle salt and pepper over your eggs. If you are adding extra toppings in your eggs, go ahead and add them in the beginning and uh, beat them in with your fork. All right, so first things first, you wanna make sure that you have all your materials um, that we talked about in the previous slide. Step one is, and again, I want to reiterate, I really love making some of these recipes that can be potentially messy over like a cookie sheet with raised sides because it really does a nice job of containing your mess. So first things first, we're going to crack our eggs. Cracking one, two eggs. And then I like to have a plate or a bowl right next to me. So anything that needs to go in the garbage or in the sink to be washed, I can just set it aside. So again, Crack your eggs, and if you're nervous about cracking eggs, check out my egg cracking video. It's super helpful. Um, go ahead and pour in your uh, milk. I'm actually out of milk right now, so I'm using half and half, which also makes like delicious scrambled eggs. You're gonna do one tablespoon. It's okay if you have a little extra. Take your fork. Eat your eggs. I beat my eggs for about one minute. Uh, maybe not quite that long, probably about 30 seconds. A minute's a really long time. Then, if you want to keep it simple, th this is it if you just want scrambled eggs. But if you want to add, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of cheese in mine, so I'm just going to reach in my bag and I'm going to put in a sprinkle of cheese and I'm gonna give that a couple more stirs. But this would be the time that if you wanna add like any vegetables or meats, like maybe you wanna put in a little breakfast sausage or like cut up ham or bacon or anything you want, they're your eggs, um, go ahead and do that. Now, 
If you are just learning how to crack eggs, another tip I want to share is as you're touching these ingredients, as you saw, I touched um, half and half that um, both my partner and I use. I reached into a bag of cheese. If you cannot crack eggs without getting the yolk on your hands, be sure to wash your hands in between cracking your eggs and touching other food items because um, raw eggs can make you sick. So with that being said, now all we're going to do is head over to the microwave and we're going to pop them in for 90 seconds. Um, and if you have questions about microwaves, please check out my other video about microwaves and you'll learn a little bit more. All right, now that we've finished microwaving our egg in a mug, we are going to take a clean fork since we touched raw egg with the fork that we stirred with. And I've also gotten a clean plate because um, just to show the practice of if you may have spilled egg on your um, original workspace, you don't want to set your mug or set your fork um, and potentially get raw egg on it. So first thing you wanna make sure that it's cooked. This is really simple, go ahead, take your fork and stab it into the mug and see if your egg feels nice and firm. If it feels runny or watery or if you can easily stir it, you should probably pop it back in the microwave for another 10 seconds or so until it has a nice firm um, consistency. So next, you can go ahead if you wanna add like salt or pepper. Again, I like doing this over a plate because if your spices go everywhere, not a big deal. You just throw the plate in your sink or your dishwasher. So I'm adding salt and pepper to mine, but you could add any seasoning that you like. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my fork and just kind of cut it up a little bit. I'm, pour, I'm um, putting my fork prongs down through the egg and then I'm using the side of my fork to just gently um, move the egg around so I can get some bite-sized pieces and so I can mix in the salt and pepper. And then you can go ahead and enjoy. Thanks for watching.